Hey everybody, this is Jedi Jesse96 here with my first Gears of War review. Today I'll be reviewing the San Diego Comic Con 09 exclusive Gears of War 2 Grenadier Lambent. Now, here he is, as you can see. Looks really awesome. I just love this figure. Um, yeah, you can see uh, he does have, uh, come with a Nasher shotgun. Has really nice detail. Uh, fits nicely into his hand also, which I'll show in just a second. And also has a little movable piece here, which I think is to reload it, but I'm not completely sure. But like I said, you can see, just slip it right in his hand, like that. Can't actually, ha you can't actually have the finger over the trigger, uh, but it still looks really nice um, when he's holding it. He holds it pretty well, um, but I usually like to just keep it on his back. Take it out of his, uh, out of his hand there. See the little peg on the back. Just peg it right on, like that. I'm going to take it off for now. Uh, so yeah, and I'm just going to show off the main gimmick of this figure, which is the main reason why I bought this figure, because I just thought the gimmick was so awesome. And you can see, um, his chest is translucent, so when you hold light up to the back, he glows. It just looks really freaking awesome. I just love this gimmick. See, the chest uh, lights up really nicely. Um, his shoulders and... Uh, upper arm also light up, along with his head. Sorry about the light. Um, you can see even his teeth and eyes glow. just looks really awesome. I wish it went to his lower arms or his hands. That would have been cool, but I think it goes far enough. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It also looks really nice from the back, also. Let's see there. So it's really awesome. It's one of the coolest gimmicks I've ever seen on a figure of any kind. It's just really awesome. Um, anyway, now I'll go into detail. See his head there, which is really nice. Um, see he's sort of baring his teeth. See the eyes there and all that. So really nice head sculpt. Uh, you can see his arms here. Uh, you can even see the veins running through his arms. So are painted in metallic blue, which looks really nice. See, this hand is made to hold the shotgun, and this one is just in like a uh, open hand pose, like he's gonna just claw somebody, which looks really awesome. Uh, see the chest? He actually has a six pack, which is pretty funny. I guess they work out underground, all locusts. Um, and you can see the back there, which uh, I think that's actually his spine. I'm not completely sure, but it looks like it would be his spine, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it for the upper body. Uh, you can see the lower body here. Uh, you can see all these little pouches here around his belt. Uh, he doesn't have any grenades, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Um, you can see the thighs here, which have nice buckles on them. Quite a bit of buckles. <laughs> see, just really nice detail. Uh, it's sort of like a darkish red also with um, sort of a silverish blue paint. To make it more detailed, it just looks freaking awesome. Um, and you can see the giant boots there. Which look really nice. More buckles and all that. So, really awesome. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go into articulation. His head can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, can't look up or down or anything. It's not on a ball joint, it's just on a swivel. Or whatever. Uh, his arms can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, go in and out. Rotate at the upper part of the arm or the bicep. He can bend at the elbow. Rotate 360 degrees at the elbow. Uh, his wrist can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, his waist can rotate 360 degrees, as well as go forward and back and side to side. Uh, his upper legs can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, they can't go in or out or anything. Um, so yeah, it's just a regular plain swivel. Sort of like the V cut, as some people call it. Um, you can, you can also bend at the knee and uh, rotate at the knee, and his legs can go in and out also. So, um, of course, as a lot of people know, uh, NECA is not the best at articulation. Um, they mainly focus on detail and um, accurateness, um, but I, I still think he has okay articulation. You can get him in some pretty cool poses, like this. Something like that. Like he's just about to claw you. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, I, I guess we'll go into size comparisons. And just get him in a good pose. Um, here he is next to the only other Gears of War figure I have at the moment, which is the Series 5 Pog Soldier. You can see, if you stand him up straight, uh, I think the Cog Soldier is a little tiny bit taller, um, but they're still, I think they're still on scale. Um, I'll put them to the side. Uh, next to a Halo figure, which is the uh, Series 6 Shipmaster, or Half Jaw. Now you see he only, he only goes up to about his uh, his chest there, so pretty short. Uh, and finally next to a Transformer, which is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Sideswipe. See he only goes up to about his shoulders if you include his wing parts. So yeah, this figure is, as most of the Gears of War figures are, it's about 7 inches I think. So pretty big, uh, and it's kind of bulky too. Um, yeah, overall, I highly recommend picking this figure up. Um, I got this figure off Amazon for about 20 bucks, and I got free shipping because I bought another figure for $5. I got the whole, oh, I spend over $25 and you get the free Super Saver shipping. But even if you don't do that, it's still only $5 for shipping anyway. So, you're pretty much paying the same price, just, uh, so yeah, you can get it on Amazon for... About 25 bucks for shipping, or you can do the full Super Saver shipping thing if you want. Um, or you can get it on other places, like Big Bad Toy Store has it for like 32.99. I wouldn't pay that much for it. Uh, it's a little expensive, and that's not even with shipping, so I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it from there. Sad, uh, sad to say. Um, but I would maybe buy it if you can't buy it from Amazon for whatever reason, even though they still have it in stock. Uh, you can get it on eBay uh, for about the same price as a uh, Amazon, uh, maybe 30 bucks for shipping, or maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, the most I'd pay is at least maybe 30 bucks for shipping, because uh, he's not worth more than that. Um, so yeah, like I said, I would, I would just get him off Amazon. I wouldn't get him from anywhere else, because Amazon has the cheapest price for him uh, right now. But yeah, anyway, yeah, highly recommend him. And thank you for watching my review, and this is Jedi Jesse 96 signing out. Oh, I'm going to eat you. Nom, nom, nom.